Weather Alert. On your screen right now, radar showing the remnants of Hurricane Helene barreling its way through the entire state of Indiana. Chances for high waters, uh, also flooding in some parts. Everything you need to know right here on Wish TV. And we do have team coverage for you tonight, covering all aspects of the storm. But first, we are going to start with Storm Track 8 meteorologist Drew Narsudis. He has the latest on its impact right now in Indiana. Drew. Yeah, so far so good, but we've only really just started things here in our region. The remnants of Helene making its way into our forecast. Here's the good news. The center of the state, you know, the, or of the storm, the strongest part, is actually not expected to really make its way even into southern Indiana. So we'll be spared the worst of this storm, but we certainly are going to see less than ideal conditions moving into this weekend and uh, the most intense part of this system will likely be over the next six to 12 hours. So we'll keep an eye on the forecast moving into tonight, but likely by bedtime we will have already seen the worst of it right now. Things are ramping up. Wind speeds are ramping up low 20s a little bit earlier now. These sustained breezes are in the upper 20s. I think uh, um, one of our other meteorologists, Stephen, was telling us that they recorded an over 50 mile per hour wind gusts out near Columbus recently. So the winds are increasing and uh, the rain will be increasing as well. We'll keep an eye on things. There's actually a little tornado warned cell uh, from this stuff that's moving towards Dayton that is, uh, of course, staying pretty strong. But again, most models suggest this stuff moves in but doesn't cause too much commotion other than some really heavy winds and rain at times. Uh, li unlikely to see too much uh, other than just some nuisance side of the the road flooding moving into our forecast. We'll talk more coming up. Okay, Drew, thank you very much. Right now, those high winds are causing damage and power outages across central Indiana, which TV's Cody Fisher is live in our mobile news tracker. Cody, where are you now and what are you seeing? Well, guys, right now we are about at 45th and Meridian, and we're making our way up. And we drove this way because of all of the big trees that are lining, uh, that line Meridian. And because the thing that power crews are most concerned about with this storm is the wind. We want to start with the problems where we can bring the most customers back into service the quickest. Because a lot of times, if your major power lines are affected. You can't restore other smaller feeders, other smaller power lines until you take care of the first, the bigger ones. The rain is not the most concerning thing for power crews with this storm. The wind is the main issue because it can bring down trees. This is a post from AES Indiana showing a massive tree that came down in someone's backyard. When trees come down, that is when the danger of downed power lines becomes a major concern. If anyone sees a downed power line, they should assume it's energized, avoid it, and contact us right away. Because Duke Energy covers the entire state, they're able to redirect their resources from areas of Indiana that will not be hit very hard by the storm. We will move our Northern Indiana crews to help. Now, guys, we are going to continue to drive around Marion County uh, to see what sort of damage these winds cause specifically. Uh, and we'll keep an eye on those power outages as well and kind of head to those areas where uh, we're seeing those outages to see if uh, any of them might be caused by this storm. In the Mobile News Tracker, I'm Cody Fisher for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates. All right, Cody, thank you. Be safe out there. Hey, we're tracking power outages across the state right now due to remnants of the hurricane. Duke Energy is currently dealing with more than 6,000 customers without power, they say. AES dealing with more than 2,000 outages. And Indiana Michigan Power is reporting 1,000 outages. We'll be tracking these numbers all night long. Have those updates for you both on air and online at wishtv.com. Dakari. The storm is also having big impacts on flights in Indiana. So far, 11 flights have been canceled, 42 flights delayed, reported at Indianapolis International. That data according to FlightAware. Across the nation, thousands of flights have been canceled with more than 25,000 delays. As what is now Tropical Storm Helene barrels north, millions of people are without power tonight. At least 25 deaths are being blamed on the former Category 4 hurricane. Take a look at this aftermath here. Michael Yoshida tonight is in Florida with the latest. This is still a very dangerous situation. Um, even though some of the storm surge is receding in Florida. Boats on yards in front of homes, roofs torn off, trees toppled, vehicles crushed. 
Many Floridians are assessing Helene's punishing overnight blow while the threat moved north. There's still so much that's happening across many states. Potentially historic and devastating flood levels are washing across large parts of the southeast. We're also trying to get the multiple structures right now that we know have individuals inside that we're unable to communicate with. Georgia's governor confirming Friday afternoon that multiple people remain trapped in buildings. Water rescues in that state and others have essentially been nonstop since Helene's landfall. In North Carolina, forecasters predict Helene's impact to be one of the most significant weather events to happen in the modern era for the region. At least two storm-related fatalities have happened there. Around mountainous Asheville, already saturated from pre-Helene rains, there are other threats. I am worried about potential building falling and collapses and landslides. And the river just keeps coming up. Uh, I don't know when it's supposed to crash today, but it. Trees are down on roads everywhere. Don't get out if you don't have to. Good advice echoed by just about every emergency management official. You need to uh, exercise extreme caution. In Steenhatchee, Florida, I'm Michael Yoshida reporting. Indiana Task Force One is helping out in Florida. Take a look at this. The team is moving through debris using chainsaws to carve a path forward and get to people in need of help. And some of those people in need are Hoosiers. News 8's Danielle Zakowski spoke to two women who are along the Gulf Coast when that hurricane hit. Hoosiers have been dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Helene with strong winds and rain in Indiana. But this is nothing compared to those who lived through the storm at its strongest. I don't think people realize how many people don't make it from these storms. Incessant, raging winds. Andy Bookmeyer lives in Indiana, but was stuck in Sarasota when the storm hit. The winds were so strong that my resort room door flew open. That was terrifying, and I had to make sure I really put some body weight against that door. But it just felt like angry and ominous. Marcy Munsterman is a Hoosier living in Florida full time. She's been there nine years, so this is nothing new. She was stuck in Cancun for Helene and experienced a Category 1 storm. Her family rode out the storm in Tampa. We had to hunker down for the storm two days ago at the resort we were at, so I had to deal with that. And then just I'm away from my husband and kids, so that's been kind of stressful. Munsterman says her family home is inland and intact. Her vacation home on Anna Maria Island is another story. She can't get to the island and says the property could be destroyed. Really not knowing about Anna Maria is just more concerned with loss of life and loss of livelihoods. Both women say they've lived through plenty of tornadoes in Indiana, but a hurricane is a much different experience. I think people forget that you know, where you love to vacation is where people live and have businesses and lives and have lived here their whole life. And the storm can be so catastrophic, which this one was, um, that they literally lose everything. It was just one of those storms that when you're going through it, you're like trying to remind yourself to stay calm. And this is just the beginning. Both the women I spoke to still need to get home. And that's going to be difficult in the aftermath of this storm. I'm Danielle Zolkowski for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.